President Bola Tinubu on Thursday reiterated his administration's efforts in tackling smuggling and corruption in the country. President Tinubu, who spoke at the commissioning of the Lagos Red Line train, said there is no going back on the economic policies of his government. I could hear a lot of noises right now. I live with it. I ask for this job. I cannot complain. It's all about democracy. <laughs> but this revolution that is started, this re reforms that is ongoing, we're not looking back. Because it's about the people. Re-engineering, reconstruction, reaffirmation of our pledge to be loyal to our country. That's one thing I know, definitely, is that there's a very bright light at the end of the tunnel. I agree, small glass will fight back. Corruption will fight back. Uh, we will fight them to ruin. Words of the President Bolatinu Bivir saying that he agrees that corruption will fight back, uh, smugglers will fight back, but that uh, his government is determined to fight them to ruins. You would recall that uh, some weeks ago, I think it was uh, the Vice President that said that. Um, there were saboteurs who were not allowing um, Nigerians enjoy the impact of uh, the changes and reforms that the government was putting in place. It was also then that they found out that there were those who were smuggling um, food out of Nigeria to neighboring countries, and there were about over 50 or 15 routes that were found with regards to those who were smuggling uh, food items. So that uh, every measure has been put in place there are saboteurs, and this is what the president is practically reiterating in his statement here in his speech, and uh, they are say they are determined to fight back. Yes, definitely. If you know, you know that Nigeria, we have a lot of unpatriotic saboteurs in this country. When it comes to um, doing the right thing, we know a lot of Nigerians do not want to do the right thing. They want to cut uh, corners, and there are some people that have actually cornered our common patrimony. Uh, in not making this country grow or get to the El Dorado as we've always, you know, uh, prayed to be. So the, the thing is, the, the president, uh, Bola Ahmed Tinobu, he understands the politics of this country. He understands the economy of this country. If you look at what he has actually done in Lagos yesterday, some people do not even like to hear that um, he laid the, you know, um, foundation. foundation, you know, for the pro uh, uh, for the project that was inaugurated yesterday, and some other things that they they are getting to see. So it's, it's quite beautiful that the president understands that corruption is the bane of this country, the bane of you know, um, uh, growth you know, of this country. And then there are some people definitely, they will always fight back. You know, the, the smugglers, those um, who are you know, cornering, uh, uh, you know, ensuring that the Nara goes down the mm. drain, ensuring that you know, people do not benefit from the dividend of democracy and all of that. So definitely they will always want to you know, come up with different kind of strategies to ensure that the president gets tired and he won't be able to fight it. But he has actually reassured that, listen, all of these reforms, it might be difficult. I begged for this job, and I have it. I already got the job, and I'm not complaining. It's, it, that's contrary to what others are saying, that he's not aware of what is happening. He's not aware of the Nigerian suffering, you know, the hardship and all of that. He said he took the, he took the responsibility. He said, I'm responsible for it. So do mm. not even you know, say that I'm not responsible. And this is when people need to learn that you know, with all of the you know vituperations, all of the invectives, all of the lies, and all of the you know uh, curses that they are raining on the seat of the president, is they should have learned because all of those lies they tried it pre-election, they still won the election. Now it's time for governance. Mm -hmm. We should all leave that aside and see how we can help our country 
you know, in our own different ways. We must understand that the way people respond to issues, the way people react to issues will be different. We are not all the same, and also because of our perspective of issues. And so we, we should expect that as well. So we cannot just ask everybody to you know, support. Even if you say that, not everyone will support you. If there are some people who still want to hold their position. And uh, there are those who will do that constructively, and there are those who yeah, wouldn't. Those who so, so, so those who are doing it constructively are those who are perhaps putting pressure on government mm -hmm. to say, you know what, you made these promises. We must ensure that you are towing that path and that you are not distracted as it is, he has come out to say that he understands, he requested for the job, he, has, he is not complaining, mm -hmm. and that he sees a very bright light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. Yeah. It is how you now make Nigerians see that light mm -hmm. that now matters. From my perspective, it is not enough to say it, but to also make them see it, yeah. see what you are seeing. So it is important that the president keep having these kinds of conversations. Yes, we know that government has putting so many measures in place to yeah. ensure, to cushion the effect of the removal of fuel subsidy, the floating of the Naira, every other thing, yeah. measures and reforms that the government have put in place. He also went on to say that, you know what, we are not going back on these decisions because there are those who have said, because of the impact, because of the pains Nigerians are facing, maybe the government should backtrack a bit uh, and begin to take these things one after the other as against we seeing them happen all at once. But God, the, the president is saying, no, we are not backtracking. Right. We are moving forward with this because, of course, when you are making certain changes, these they are the attendant mm -hmm. pains mm -hmm. that come with it. But how you make Nigerians understand that is crucial so that you can get that support that you That's need yeah. from Nigerians, and they can even help amplify mm. this thing. So it's not just a cross-section of some persons, but all Nigerians see yeah, that the point, the, the you point, are you know, on this path, and they are seeing the light, just as you are seeing The it. point I'm making is that you know, those who would want to always curse, you know, um, who, whatever administration is there, they don't realize that they're not cursing the president, they're cursing the seat of the president, so much so that when the next person comes in, because we wait, you know, for that person, no matter what the person wants to do, you know, just like you are, uh, you're, you're on a plane, and then you're cursing the pilot because he did something, and then you said you will not, you know, get to your destination. Whereas you are in the you're plane, in the plane. <laughs> so, so if anything happens to the plane, you all sink. So, so th those are the things that uh, I, I feel that people need to, you know, understand. It's it's our country. We have to be patriotic. We have to be good people. We have to be. Uh, Nigerians, you know, the Nigerians in us should not make us bad people or say anything bad about ourselves, you know, on the internet, you know, wherever it is that we, we should just always be good ambassadors of, of our... You, you see, you know, you, from it's just about the, the issue of trust, mm -hmm. that um, people find it difficult to trust government, and, and it also comes from how you engage people that they can build trust and um, also support you as it is. So this government have to do everything such that um, Nigerians trust them and also understand that, make them understand that we are in all this together. Uh, yes, as much as we are all, <laughs> there are those who are traveling out. I know that, you know, the purchasing power has been eroded. I mean, the, the, the issue of, um, you know, Naira crunch, I mean, not Naira crunch, the, the effect of the fair subsidy removal and the weakening of the Naira has actually eroded our purchasing power. Everyone. I've never been this broke in my life. <laughs> but, but the truth is, we understand, probably because we're journalists, mm -hmm. we are following the reforms, we understand how things are actually panning out, mm -hmm. and we are looking at you know, the other side of, of this hardship, which is you know, greatness and good. Uh, we can only hope that um, we get to the end of the tunnel as mm -hmm. soon as possible That's because right. of the impact of all of these decisions by the government. We can only wish the government well as it moves on with these policies. Mm -hmm.